everybody, Beezer Waggler. Today we're going to be going over the lead guitar part of Ricky Skaggs Country Boy. This is the way that I do it and have been doing it for years and years and years. This is not exactly the way it's done on the recording, but I hope you like it. So if you do like it, subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the notification so that you can get notified when we release new videos. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Three to four on your G string. Your B and your E open. Three to four on your G string again. B and E open again twice. One on your G, two on your B and open on your E. Hit your G one first, then hit your B2 and your E0 together. Then hit each note separately. G1 followed by E open followed by B2. All right, so together that goes. Now, hit your uh, G string open, your E string open, and your B string on one. Now, hit your G string open first, and then follow it by the E open and the B on one together. And then hit all three notes individually starting with the G open, followed by the E open, followed by the B on one. Together that goes. The next part goes. Slide from three to four on your G. So slide three to four on G and hit your E on four. And then toggle back and forth, back and forth between the G four, E four, G four. So slide three to four, and then follow by E4, then G4, then E4, then G4. Next, play G and E both on three at the same time. And then slide down to the second fret, the G and the E string, and bounce back and forth between the G to the E to the G to the E to the G. So you're gonna play five notes on the second fret, starting with G2, E2, G2, E2, G2. All right, so far that goes. The next part goes. Starting on your D2, pull off from D2 to D open. 
on A2, pull off from A2 to 1 and then to 0. On the E string, hit it open, hammer on to the 3rd fret, pull it off back to open, and then follow it with D2. So that last part goes. Starting on D2, slide D4 up to D6. All right, G4, hammer on to G6, pull off to G4 and hammer on to G6. Then hit B5 and slide B7 up to B9. Then E7, hammer on to E9 and pull off to E7. And then slide up to 12. Then E10, then E9, then E7, hammer on to E9 and pull off to E7. B9, then again, E7, hammer on to 9, and then pull off to 7. So that last was... Okay, the next part goes... To do that, E3, pull off to E open... Then B3 to open E. Then B3 pull to open B. And then G3 to open B. Then G3 pull off to G2 and then G open. Then D2 to G2, back to D2. Then back to G open, hammer on to one. Then pull D2 to D open. Then A2, A1, A open, E open, E3, E open, and then D2. And that went. Again, real slowly. So to do that, what I want you to do is take your A string open, then slide 3 to 4, then D2, hammer on to 4, pull off to 2, hammer on to 4. Then barring your B and G string on 2, pull it off to B and G open. Right? 
Now, as you pull that open, hit your D4. Second time, do the same thing. B and G2, pull it open. Back to D4. And then your B and G strings on two, but don't pull it off. Uh, don't pull it off to open. So there's a little bit of a groove there that you get into. It does like this. From your D to your barred open, D barred open, D barred. Now slide your G string up to seven. All right, now your B string on five and your E string on four. Right, so you're gonna pluck the G string and then you're going to pluck your E and your G, or I mean your E and your B together and then you're gonna pull the B string off to, to open. And then you're going to, to do um, like this. All right, so the next part of this goes from your A open, slide three to four. Then on your D string, hit two and hammer on to four, pull off to two and hammer on to four. And then just like the last time, we're going to hit the B and the G string on two and we're gonna pull it to open. And then we're going to do that twice in a row, pulling it to, uh, um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the D on four, the B and the G two, pull to open, back to D four. Then we're gonna go back to the G and the B on two, pull to open the second time, right? Then back to G four, I'm sorry, back to D four, and then we're going to go to uh, G and B on two and sustain that. So again, that same groove. Right? So. Right? Okay, so now on your E string, hit E open, and then slide three to four, then hit your D2, back to E4, back to D2, and then slide D4 to D6, and then hit B5, back to D6, down to B3. And what that sounds like is, Now for the next part, we're going to bar the D, G, and B strings on five, right? For our C chord. And then we're going, the way we're going to do this is. Okay, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to, to bar the B, G, and D strings all on five to make our C so from there, what we're going to do is we're going to pluck the D string first, followed by plucking the B and the G strings together, all there on the fifth fret. So it goes like this. 
Then we're going to pluck each note individually, starting with the D, followed by the B, and then followed by the G, all, five, all on the fifth fret. Right? So again, it goes. All right. Then we're going to hit the B on the fifth fret, and we're going to hammer on to uh, six, and then we're going to pull off to five. Right? And then we're going to go from G7, pull off to G5, and then D7. And what that sounds like together is... Down on your little E string, go pull off three to one. Then B3 to E1. Then B3 to B1. Then G3 to B1. So. Now on your G string, hit G3, pull off to two, and then pull off to open. All right, now D2 to G open. So all together it sounds like Now, we're going to go back and do the same exact uh, riff on your 5th fret, on your D, your G, and your B string. Alright, all on 5, you're going to hit your uh, D5 first, and then you're going to follow it by hitting the G and the B5 together. Then you're going to hit each note separately, starting with the D, followed by the B, followed by the G. Then on your B5, hammer on to B6, and then pull off to B5. Then pull off G7 to G5, and then end on D7. All right, so the fifth part goes like this. Uh, we're going to hammer on from four to five on the D string. And then we're going to pluck at the same time B3 and G open. All right, and then we're going to alternate back and forth between those two. Right? So. Then hammer on from four to five. Then G open, D5, G open, D5. Then B3, G open. All right, and now D2, pull off to open. And then A1, slide to 2, and then G3. What that sounds like is this. All right. So the next part, start with your E3. A, open, hammer on to 1, hammer on to 2. D, Open, hammer on to two, pull off to open. 
B1 to G3. Then B open to G open. D open hammer on to two. G open. Right? So that goes. On the G3, pull off to two and then pull open. All right, D2 to G2, back to D2. Back to G open. And together that goes. Now on G2, hammer on to G3 and G4. All right. Now on B3, hammer on to B5 and then pull off to B3. And then B8. All right. All right, so we're on the sixth and final part of this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the B string on three and we're gonna hammer on to five and then we're going to hit the E string open. And then we're gonna hit the B string on five and pull it back, uh, pull it off to three. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take the G string on three and we're gonna pull it to two. And then we're gonna hit the E for open, B open, and G open. So. Now we're going to take the D string and we're gonna pull three off to two. And then we're going to hit the B, G, and D strings open individually. So, so far what that sounds like is this. Now, on your G3, pull it off to two and then pull it open. And then now on your D string, two, D2 to G2, back to D2, back to G open. So together that sounds like. Now, do it again from G3 to two to open. All right, D2 to G2 to D2 to G open again. Then on your A string, slide or hammer on from one to two. D open, then E3. So together that goes. All right. Now your A string hammer on from open to one to two. 
and then on your D string, hammer from open to two and then pull out back to open. Now slide up to D5. Now pluck your B and your G strings open. Now pull off from D3 to D2. And then hit your B open followed by your G open followed by uh, your D open. Followed by your B and your G strings open together. Then pull off uh, your A1 to zero, or A1 to open, and then your uh, G string and your D string open, and then your E string on three. So what that sounds like is... Mm -hmm. 